Drawings and Models, Practice Set 4. Use the orthographic drawing to make an isometric drawing. Then, model the figure in SketchUp. Okay, so let's do part A together. I'm going to label the heights here on the top view, and I can see that from looking at the front and the right side view. And now I'm just going to work on the isometric drawing. I'm starting with the one unit high block, which sort of makes a backward L shape. And now I'm going to work on the right bottom right side edge. Now the middle section is a block that's two units high and then the back side is a three by two so it's three units high. There we go now I can shade in so you can see the top side there's the front side in gray the right side is a little bit darker and then that's it we finished the isometric drawing now it's time to make the model in SketchUp. Okay, so I'm going to open up Google SketchUp and I'm going to choose a parallel projection view under camera and uh, an isometric view. So this is our corner view. So as we build our model, it'll look like the, the isometric we just drew. So if we use little one by one blocks, how many would we need? to make up this model. It looks like 11 blocks. Don't forget about the hidden ones. Okay, so back to SketchUp. Let's make, use the rectangle tool and make one foot by one foot square and push pull it up one foot. Now I'm going to use my cursor and, and triple click or, or select the whole thing and use the move copy tool which has four arrows. Hold the option or control key down and then grab a corner and click so it snaps onto another corner that you've copied. So I know my base is going to be 2 by 3 and the back side is going to be a 2 by 3 as well. And then I need one more cube to go in the middle left section. Now I'm going to use the eraser tool, it's a big pink eraser, and erase the segments that I don't need Now at this point, I'm going to use the paint bucket tool and, and shade the figure like I did before, just so we can see uh, visually, help us see if we, how we did. So let's compare the top view, the front view, and the right side view on our SketchUp model with those on our orthographic drawings to see how we did. There's the front view, and then there's the right side view. I'd say it looks pretty dead on. So you can build your SketchUp model and check to see how you did. All right, so we just did A, try part B, an isometric drawing, and then model in SketchUp.